You know, back in the day, we didn't have Grinder, and we didn't have uh, what's that one? Meet.com. What we did was, when you was horny and you want some sex, all you did was walk the streets. My name is Eric, and welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. Now you may say to me, walk the streets. Well, it has come to me, I've heard a lot of people, young people was talking about, oh, you want a date, go to Griner. And I did do Griner. Um, it's, a, it's a sex thing. It, it, all these dating apps is just about sex. I mean, I know I hear a lot of women talk about it. All oh, these guys, all they, all they want to do is sex, you know. But back in the 70s, if you want a quickie, if you want a quickie in the 70s, sex quickie, you didn't have to go too far. You got to be more prerogative. And what I mean by that is you walk the streets. They walk, the, you know, people in the street. Depends how crowded it is too. And somebody catch your eye. You catch their eye. They, got, they caught your eye. You both, you know. And he smiles and you smile back. And he'll go, hey, what's up? And you stop and you say, well, nothing much, you know. And then he looks this way, he looks that way. He goes, um, do you know this neighborhood? Yeah, I know the neighborhood. And he goes, you know about that building down the block there? I said, yeah, I know about that building down the block. It, that building down the block is a burnt out building. Wanna come with me? Yeah, I'll come with you. You follow him down the block to the burnt out building or abandoned building. You go into the vestibule. Because a, a lot of times it wasn't, um, how you say, locked up. And you go into the vestibule and you do your thing. You might say, well, it can't be that easy. In the 70s, it was quite easy. I remember on Fulton Street, downtown Brooklyn, Fulton Street, Christmas Eve or Christmas or the day before Christmas Eve, whatever. I was going Christmas shopping. Just minding my business, going Christmas shopping. And I'm walking. I just came out of A&S Strauss. And this guy in a car, old dumpy car, but I noticed it that, um, cause it was like nine o'clock at night. Things closed, you know, things closed early. I think nine o'clock was pretty late for these places to stay open. So I walk and I, down the street, you know, with my packages and I noticed this guy slowly, you know, you know, follow me, you could say. And I turned around and he'd pull down the window. He'd roll down the window. The passenger window, you gotta roll down the window. He stopped and rolled down the window. He said, um, need a lift? And I said, yeah, I need a lift. So anyway, got in, got in the car with my packages and he said, how about we make a stop here? There's Cabin Plaza Park. How can we make a stop here? So we made that stop and we did our thing. <laughs> then he drove. Luckily for me, I lived downtown Brooklyn at the time and he drove me home. And I was told back then, and I've done it, if you really get horny, they had the things called tea room. What is a tea room? Tea rooms were the bathrooms on the subway. They called them tea rooms. This is before uh, New York City closed down those tea rooms. Um, you had certain subway stations that were very popular. I know uh, it was a Friday night. I left a friend of mine. We was on um, 42nd Street. We saw a movie. Movies on 42nd Street was only two bucks back then. You could stay there all day. We saw a movie. A friend. Nothing sexual. Just a friend. We saw a movie. We got on the Times Square station. I was going to Brooklyn. I lived in Brooklyn. He was going to the Bronx. So I'm waiting for the train to go to Brooklyn. And this guy came over to me. You know, nice looking guy. Looked very mas masculine and straight to me. He said, how you doing? I said, I'm doing okay. He said, then we, the train came. We got on the train. And he sat next to me. We were talking. BS talk. 
And then we came to, we was on a local, the number seven local. We came to, was it Bleecker Street? I'm not sure it was Bleecker Street uh, or King Street, one of those streets. He said, I, I, I want to show you something. I said, what do you want to show me? He said, I want to show you something. So we got off the station. I followed him into the bathroom. This is after midnight. The bathroom was open. And yes, he did want to show me something. Put on his zip and he showed me something. Then we did our thing. So it's like, this is back in the 70s. So in the 70s, we didn't have Grindr. We didn't have all these date apps. You did your thing. I mean, it was it was rampant. I mean, you could you go in the park, Central Park. You go to Central Park or walking through Central Park. Same thing. You're walking through Central Park to get to the east side. Because I had some friends that live on the east side. And I was doing some shopping on the west side. So I'm walking across to get to the east side. I'm not going to take a bus to go all the way uptown or downtown to come back all the way up. I said, I'll just walk across. So you go walk, walk through the park. And, you, and this guy catch your eye. You, he catch your eye. You catch his eye. He said, what's up? Oh, I'm just going to a friend's house. Um, one company? I said, well, not really. I don't think my friend, you know. So he goes, uh, I know a place. Yes, he did know a place. There was a place in the park. Took me to this place. Pretty, nobody really was around when the place he took me. And we did our thing. This is, this is in the 70s. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When the 80s came and then... The AIDS epidemic started. A lot of that did stop. I should say a lot. A lot of it did and a lot of it didn't. Um, I do remember friends in mid-80s, 86, 87, who actually was going to Mount Morris Park and they had orgies. And it was scary. I didn't go any orgies. But the sad part, I'm going to be honest, let's be honest. The sad part, those guys who participated in these orgies in Mount Morris Park or any of these parks who didn't stop whoring around, let's say, um, they're not here today, okay? Not to say that they could have died of anything, but a lot of people didn't stop doing that. It's hard to stop doing that when you're so used to just walking down the street to see somebody. And New York at that time, this is before Giuliani cleaned up New York City. New York at that time had so many abandoned buildings and burnt down buildings and so many areas that was deserted. You just, you see somebody, hey, what's up? You want to, um, yeah, let's go and do our thing. 